drifting out through here. Okay, then you're heading straight off into abdominal, abdominal contents. So obviously the main portion of the erectus is what, is what we're going to be dealing with. So what we're going to do for the first time is just put them in a line through here, just to get used to them. So like that. So you starting at a specific point there? No, not for these ones, I'm not for the next for the next process we will. It's just bigger as one driving Yeah, I am pretty much. This is just just fun. Just getting you guys used to putting mm -hmm. them in. Had um, Stormwing? No, they were damaged. Yeah, that's when I was watching on the TV, they were smashed. Who did that? Manly? Yeah, it was Manly. They have all their players in? Storm. No idea. They're not a team that takes the lightning to Alright, so just start, I didn't start down medial to the PSISs, but you can start just down medial to the PS, PSIs, it's quite dense, ooh, ooh. dense tissue down through there. And just, this is not how I normally, normally do it, but this is just, just the first process. Okay, and then just do, do five or so, so pretty much one out from each, one out from each. Lumbar vertebrae, oh, twist, oh. twist to wind up. That left one still going. Oh, it's supposed to be you, Shaz, on the table. I'm out to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones that I generally, um, oh, when, oh. We, uh, when we go to the next lumbar process, yeah, the the quite often with the, with the thoracics. And you'll get into quite often through these Especially thoracics where you've side those, like, like the thoracics in the laminar groove mainly because of the way they overlap. And obviously down through here you're going through your rhomboids at the same time. To get into the attachments of rhomboids through here with a heap of needles. Mainly because the thoracic the musculature tends to sort of travel across two or three vertebrae rather than lumbar where it tends to go from one vertebrae to the next, the thoracic vertebrae, the muscular tends to travel from two or three vertebrae away. So if I find